Basic appraisal principles, page 370. Unit four, real estate contracts and financing. The priority of a mortgage depends on the date it was recorded. A mortgage has lower priority than any voluntary liens on the same property that were recorded earlier and higher priority than any that were recorded later. But a lender can agree to accept a lower priority position than the one established by the recording date. The lender may subordinate its mortgage to another mortgage that was or will be recorded later. The earlier mortgage that takes on a lower priority is called the subordinated mortgage. The later mortgage that is given a higher priority is called the subordinating mortgage. Subordination is most common when a seller carries back a purchase money mortgage for part of the purchase price. The borrower slash buyer intends to improve the security property, but will have to obtain a construction loan to do so. Construction lenders generally insist on having first lien position, which means the highest priority. As a result, the borrower won't be able to get the construction loan unless the seller is willing to subordinate the purchase loan. A subordination clause can be included in the earlier mortgage or a separate subordination agreement may be drawn up. The provision may subordinate the mortgage to a loan that has already been arranged or to one that the borrower intends to apply for. Because subordination can have a drastic effect on the strength of a lender's security, any subordination provision must be drafted or carefully reviewed by a competent lawyer. When the other loan hasn't been arranged yet, the provision should establish strict standards for the quality and purpose of the other loan. Otherwise, the borrower can subordinate the earlier mortgage to any kind of loan and do anything he or she wants with the money. That can make the subordinated lender's security worthless. Deed of trust. The deed of trust, also called a trust deed, is a type of security device most popular in Western states. In some states, mortgages do not contain a power of sale clause and must be foreclosed judicially. In order to foreclose without going to court, a deed of trust must be used. The deed of trust is a three-party instrument. The parties are the trustor, which means the borrower slash buyer, the trustee, who is a neutral third party slash escrow company, and the beneficiary, who is the lender slash bank. In theory, a deed of trust conveys title to the trustee for the period of indebtedness. Although the borrower retains possession of the property, in most states, however, a deed of trust actually only creates a lien, kind of like a mortgage, and does not convey title. When the debt is paid in full, the lender directs the trustee to execute a deed of reconveyance for the borrower. The trustee releases the lien of the deed of trust by signing and recording a deed of reconveyance. Extra note, to save foreclosures. 
Page 371, foreclosure. A power of sale clause is found in every deed of trust. <clears throat> this allows a deed of trust to be foreclosed just like a mortgage containing a power of sale clause, except that it is the trustee <clears throat> who is granted the power to sell the property upon default.